Hello and welcome to episode nine of Mac Minute. I'm Mike Myers and this week we're going to talk about notifications. Notifications are something brand new in the latest version of the Mac operating system. And if you have an iPhone or uh, an iPad, you're used to using notifications already, believe it or not. That little bar you swipe down from the top to get all your information and it comes on the screen, it's exactly the same on a Mac. This is you don't swipe down, it's built right into the menu bar. In fact, if you use an Android, you still know what I'm talking about because on Android, you still swipe down to get notifications. It's very similar. The whole concept is exactly the same. Just everything here is built into your Mac. So let me hop over to the side here. And where notifications are on a Mac are right up here in this right-hand corner. This little bar right here is notifications. If you click on it, you see I have no new no notifications right now. Now, this is a fairly new account. I'm only using it for this show, so I don't really have much going on but I'm going to walk through the setup of the notifications. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click on the setup button, and you see what comes up is the notifications. The other way you can get to notifications is by going to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and in here, the very top, you have notifications. It's the exact same window. Either way you can get there. And just like in iOS, you can come in here and you can set what kind of alerts you want for each of these. Here's a calendar, for example. Maybe you don't want calendar alerts, or maybe you want to see a banner on the middle of your screen that lets you to remind you to do something. The default for this particular one is alerts, which means it shows up in your alerts or your notifications bar. And it does pop up on the screen for a little bit and then goes away, and it's in notifications from then on. And you can see in Notification Center, you want to see the last five items if you want. You can actually put an app, or like on this case, it's calendar. So calendar would put a little number on there saying how many notifications you're missing. Right now you see calendar has nothing on it. You look right here, there is nothing right here. So there's nothing to look at. FaceTime, I'm gonna go through the other things that are, I can give notifications. FaceTime, which I don't use FaceTime, so I would never have a notification for FaceTime. Uh, Game Center, which I do use some, there, but not a lot of notifications come from that. Mail, which is great. Uh, I actually do use it as an alert. And it comes up on the screen on the top right up here and it'll tell me exactly what I just happened with my mail. I can hear it make a little noise if the speakers are turned on, and in the Notification Center, I can real quickly see what's going on. Messages, which is a subject for a couple weeks from now, we'll talk about this. This is a great way of using uh, the Notification Center. I use this very heavily, and we're gonna talk about how to do this a little later on, in a couple weeks, between your iPad and your iPhone and everything else. So this would be something to come back to. And we have reminders, and they are set up for just an alert. And you have even applications like Safari and as, as well. And then there's also other things you can add in here, and depending on what, what programs you install, a lot of new programs will also work with Notification Center to provide you information back. So if you're used to iOS or an Android and you the notifications, this is very similar. This is how you get your notifications instead of always cluttering up your screen with these pop-ups. You can still do that if, it's, if that's how you have to work. Some people would require it to be interrupted to get things done. Um, but if you're, and you're used to that, you definitely can do that, no problem you still go back to that. But by default, many things are now in notifications, and you can come in here and adjust that information right here in the notification settings in the control panel. That's it for this week, very quick. Next week, I don't know what the subject is. I know like two weeks, maybe three weeks away, is, we just talked about using messages on, on uh, for texting, basically, between your friends of iPhones and other devices from your Mac, right from your Mac without a phone. I mean, you don't need a phone for to do it. So um, but that's two weeks away, I think, three weeks away, maybe. So I can't remember what next week is, but we'll see you next week with something new, hopefully exciting for you. And hopefully your journey to the Mac is getting much easier as we're going through here and teaching you little things, little tricks here and there. Please tell your friends about us. Subscribe to us on YouTube. You know, the whole, uh, sign them up with the podcast. Uh, pass us around, whatever, you know. Come visit the community for TechZen.TV at Google+. Plus. You know, leave us a message. Tell us what you want us to, what you want to learn. If you have something particular you want to learn and you don't know how to do it, uh, we'd, and, or if you figured out we do something that you didn't know, let us know. Because if you didn't know, maybe somebody else doesn't know, and we'll try to show them out, show them around, and you know, try to help figure it out with you. So until next week, enjoy your Mac, and I'll uh, see you next week.